Fofo with Fabage with uh, Ellen and Phil. Yay! Uh, my working day is done, so I'm very happy. Hurrah! Um, right, so it's time to do some taste testing, mate. It is. Very exciting, as always. So, today, do you, do you, do you want to introduce the cheese? Today we are going for Alex James number six cheap, uh, sheeps, or six sheeps. Um, Is it made with the tears of the poor? <sighs> See, Ellen is maintaining this notion that because Alex James lives next door to David Cameron, um, and Rebecca Brooks. He's part of the Chipping Norton set, isn't he? Yes, he is. Right, I, 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 I've said this before, I'll say it again. I love Blur. I don't love Alex James. <laughs> he, right. So, my, 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 my issue with him is he writes for The Spectator and The Fucking Sun. Self-respected individual writes for The Fucking Sun. Well, there's been lots of, of interesting people who have written for both of those papers. Not the Spectator so much. I'm under the sun. The sun, the I, know, sun. I know, I know, I know, I know. You know, just fucking no. People in Liverpool have got it right. They wouldn't wipe their ass with it. Yeah. And nor would I, quite frankly. And he writes for it. Outrageous. So this cheese will stick in my throat as I try it. However, however, um, his, cheese, is, be really nice, his cheese is renowned for being really, really good. And I quite like the yeah, fact... Do you know what? I quite like what the idea that you is really good? Grind in the face of the fucking poor. A bit really good fucking fun. <laughs> so, um, I quite also, I also quite like the, the idea of that narrative that you're in a rock and roll band, so you decide to pick up a cheesemonger and you... Yeah. The, the, is that like, what is, is it, is it, what's blessed be, is that blessed be the cheese, what's that, blessed, blessed be, be the cheese makers? That is, isn't it, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Um, yeah. okay. So this isn't song number two, this is cheese number six. Ah, <laughs> I see what I did there. Um, uh, however, you know, as much as this is, I'm not entirely sure where this where this goes because this says Alex James's sheep cheese is a fresh, soft cheese made with organic ewe's milk. It is a light, creamy, fluffy texture and a slightly sharp, refreshing flavour. Garlic and herbs are added to make this tasty variety. Okay, mm -hmm. which is all coming from the the tasting notes that we get with our cheese club um, uh, delivery. Um, but it also says it is produced for Alex James Co. by High Wheeled Dairy, West Sussex. Oh. So presumably not his farm and dairy, but made for them. So I don't know what the score is there. I have heard him on, uh, I remember hearing him on the, the Food and Farming Awards, and he was, because I listened to that, because I rock and roll. Um, uh, and he was talking about his cheese and stuff and was clearly very hands-on, but this particular cheese, appear, it appears, isn't actually made by him. You... I'm going to open it. Is it going to go to off? Do... It might do. You know, like when you do the coffee, you like to have uh, a sniff of the coffee. Yeah, it. Okay, ready? Oh, that's got a very that's nice, ruley sort of yeah, smell to it. that's really nice. And it's bound to be really nice. Um Everyone was falling over him at the uh, at the role uh, at the role at the food and farming awards, and I remember them saying, uh, "So uh, for you, what is the Sergeant Pepper of cheeses?" And uh, they're saying that because he's in a pop band and all that. Why, and it, so, why, why the Beatles reference? Like? Just because Sergeant Pepper is the greatest album of all time. So what's the greatest cheese of all time? Was what they were asking, and he got this really really lengthy thing where he was saying. Hmm. Well, I think it would probably be um, Pilgrim's Choice or Cathedral City because it's mass market. And he was really thinking yeah. about the, the, the nature of Sgt. Pepper as an album oh. rather than with yeah. a, a combination of quality and yeah. mass market uh, economics okay. uh, um, rather than, you know, which wasn't what they were asking him at all. No. What they wanted to know was which of these cheeses the that are up cheese. for an award yeah. is going to get the prize, mate, in your they, opinion. They wanted to troll him and say, like, rather than Sgt. Pepper, because they should have said, like, what's the story, Morning Glory, or something <laughs> like that. You know? Well, what is the, what's the story, Morning Glory?
glory of cheese. That fucking shitty ginger cheese. That ginger, <laughs> ginger fr fucking cheese has ruined fuck, Christmas. Fuck you, Wilchester. Fuck you, Wilchester. You've ruined Christmas. That's the cheese version of... Um, What's the story morning glory? Is it? Yeah. Or is it or is it a craft cheese slice or something like that? <laughs> I don't know, no, it wants to be something just something obnoxious. And something that fancies itself as well. Fancies itself and is obnoxious. That's yeah. that's the way it is. Yeah. So let's have a little uh, bang on this. I suspect this is oi. Oi, put them down. Um hold them. Feel free to hold them. But... You didn't tell me to hold them. That's spreading really beautifully. It's not an easy spread. It's quite. Oh, well, I need to hold that one now. Don't it's you? quite. Uh, can, I, can I just shake? It's quite just firm. Na, 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 na. Oh no! I dropped this one on the table. It's firmer than something like roux um, or borsa, but. Uh, can we do a little spready? Just to sort mine out. I'm going to have to let this one because I've just had my fingers all over. Am I going to forgive him? Actually, that oatmeal cracker really nice. is probably a little too intrusive for yeah, that. Yeah. Um, but that is the a. Cheese itself. Uh, that is a. Oh! You big dickhead. Don't get your sleeves in there. Cheese, my cardigan. Cheese fall. That's really nice. That's a really, really nice, delicate, soft cheese. I'm not sure that I'm going to say that it's better than something like roll, uh, a nice piece of roll, but... Can you remember when we went out for dinner in dinner? with Professor Charles Barr and I flung peas all over him at the dinner table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. I, I do remember that. Honey was so gracious about it. Yeah, I think he just said, oh, crikey. I did, he did. He said, oh, crikey. <laughs> As he was covered in peas. And the irony of that is, you'd never give your peas away. I love peas. Anyway, we're... Almost we're as much as you love cheese. And if you love peas, and you, you love, love cheese, cheese you'll love, you'll love cheese, cheesy peas. Indeed. Oh, so I couldn't be back in the 90s. It's easy to place with cheesy peas. Um, do we have anything else we could put about that one? No, but let's wrap up now. We're on eight minutes. So... So... You just let your fingers remember to wash your hands. No, I'm touching my mouth. I'm not going to give me... Anything. Yeah, but I mean, before you do all the stuff. I was, I was in town, I know, and there was a woman who was just licking her fingers. She'd had a pasty, which she finished in the shop, which is outrageous behaviour, first of all. Then, she proceeded to lick all of her fingers, making a horrible fucking noise, and then just wandered around the shop fucking touching stuff. Yeah, that's out of order. Everybody goes outside to be wearing mittens. Um... Preferably on a string through the back of their jacket. Oh, that'd be ace. <laughs> I'd love that. I wouldn't lose them there. I can lose my mittens out as well. Right, anyway, yeah. Um, um, really nice cheese. Like the cheese. Don't like Tories, but no way. I don't think it's a Tory. For the spectator and the sun by association. If he writes it, if he writes for the spectator, he's probably a Tory. Anyway, yeah, it's actually really nice cheese. Yeah, that is a really, really pleasant cheese. Um, yeah, yeah. Shall we clear off? Yeah, got to consume this within three days of opening. Oh, I will manage it in three minutes of opening, I reckon, mate. Yeah. Oh, can I dip? Can I dip a, a grape in? I'll do that. Oh, no, no, no. I thought you turned it off. You've not turned it off. No, I'm, I'm, I'm getting the um, you dipping a grape in it action. It was not excited. 
Was it not? It was not exciting. You, we saw well, there was not. Well done. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> right, we're on ten minutes. Let's call it a day. <laughs>